Howdy, my name is Will Rooney. I'm a seminarian for the Diocese of Austin, Texas. I'm from College Station, Texas. I grew up there with my family, two younger brothers, mom, dad, grandparents are in the area as well. And my vocation story really starts at home. My mom and my dad, my grandparents, all gave me the gift of faith. They took me to be baptized and they took me to, uh, to RE and to Mass every week. And we weren't anything out of the ordinary. We were just a, a good Catholic family. Uh, got involved with youth group and things when I was in high school. And that really augmented my faith. Uh, it built up my faith in a way um, that I, I was able to receive that gift from them. And, uh, and now I can give back because of that gift of faith. So when I was in high school, I had this amazing experience with God's mercy, which kind of led me towards uh, the priesthood in a real way. I went on a retreat my ninth grade year. Uh, it was put on by the seniors and the core team there at the, uh, the, the youth program that I was involved in at my home parish, St. Thomas Aquinas. And the, the retreat was called Road to Redemption. Road to Redemption was uh, an amazing experience and it was an experience that I didn't even want to go on at first, but my mom kind of pushed me into it. And she, uh, she got me there. Uh, and on Saturday night, I had this amazing experience with our Lord in Eucharistic Adoration. And not only Eucharistic Adoration, but I was able to go to confession for the first time in a long time. One thing that my family didn't really do on a regular basis was go to confession. And so seven years after my first confession, I hadn't been to confession in all that time, right? Um, so that night in front of the Blessed Sacrament, I just felt moved to go towards confession. And the priest whom I confessed to uh, was an amazing example of God's merciful love for us as his beloved sons and daughters. Father Michael walked me through confession. He walked me through uh, saying sorry for my sins. And at the end, I was overcome with the Lord's mercy with tears on my, my face. He just gave me a hug and, and, and sent me on my way. But that night, I really experienced the Lord's mercy through a priest, through a priest who was a father to me in a real way. And I think that that led me, that put me on a path towards thinking about priesthood. I had little inklings that maybe I wanted to be a priest when I was a little kid, seven or eight years old. I said, uh, in response to the question, what do you want to be when you grow up? I said, you know, I want to be a priest, a trained engineer, or an astronaut. But it was that moment of experiencing the Lord's mercy that really set me on a, a path towards priesthood, I think. So flash forward a few years after that experience, I was uh, at the end of high school and I was kind of thinking, hey, maybe, maybe I should be a priest. Maybe I should go to seminary. Um, but at that time, I just I didn't have a deep enough prayer life to really be able to discern that call. And so I had got some great advice from a, a, seminary, a seminarian then, a priest now, Father Tom, who told me, Will, you've always wanted to go to Texas A&M University. So uh, go to A&M and stay close to the Lord. He was an Aggie too, so there might have been some vested interest there. But uh, I went to A&M and I threw myself into everything that was there. I, I got involved on campus. I also got involved in the, uh, the campus ministry there. And the, the point of me being there was to learn, yes, but I also learned much about my faith through that experience. I had the ability to go and to serve my home parish as a youth minister as well. And what really clinched me coming to seminary was I think the opportunity to serve others. When I was able to serve others, especially through middle school youth ministry that I did, I recognized that I loved preaching the gospel. And even on the bad days when I was working at the parish, it was an amazing experience to be able to share God's love with the people of God. And that's why I'm in seminary today, to share God's love through the sacraments, to share God's love through preaching and through ministry of reconciliation. Thanks and gig'em.